Hey people, welcome to this two ways. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Icon Professional Double Box Ratcheting Wrench Set, which happens to be a, a 10 piece metric set that starts at um, 10 millimeter, goes up to 19 millimeters without skipping that size. And uh, right here on the box it says, premium storage tray included, 72 tooth gear for easy work in small spaces. Polished chrome finish offers superior rust and corrosion resistance. Precision machine fit on all fasteners, giving you maximum torque without slippage. Slim profile designed for optimal comfort and grip. 12 point box ends allows easy fastener engagement without slippage and prevents fastener round off. Then it also includes a little chart right here with the length for these wrenches, which um, the 10 millimeter is 10 and 1 8 inches and then the biggest or the longest one the 19 millimeter is uh, 15 and 5 8 inches according to this chart here but i actually measured the 19 millimeter one and it was just a little bit longer than what it says here but whatever right here is a um, lifetime guarantee and um if anybody's interested in these you can pick these up at harbor freight They'll be in the icon section. And speaking of that, I was just wondering, you know, with um, the new Bauer storage system that came out, I wonder if they're going to be coming out with an icon one, you know, an icon storage system. Because, you know, they got the toolboxes already, or maybe they, they'll be coming out with a, with a power tool. Uh, um, with power tools, you know, like... Um, like maybe a, a impact wrench or a, or a power ratchet or, or whatever, you know, just, uh, I was just wondering if they're, they're thinking about doing that. Not that I have any inside info because, you know, I don't. I'm just wondering. I mean, that would be a smart move for them, which I, I don't know. I just think that, that they have that in the works. But anyhow, we're going to go back to these right here. So, yeah, these are... um. These are thin, but not super thin where it's going to, I don't think it's going to hurt when you're, you know, trying to torque, uh, uh, I mean, trying to um, unscrew or unbolt something. I think that they're, um, they're pretty um, heavy duty. I mean, you know, for the de average DIYer like myself, you know, um, homeowner, weekend warrior, whatever you want to call it. I think these um, icons are, it's a good set. You know, especially with the lifetime guarantee. I mean, I know a lot of people, you know, the, the professional ranchers, they'll probably want to get a, 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 you know, a higher uh, or a better name brand or whatever. But I don't know. I think these are these are um, pretty heavy duty. And I think that you could probably use this in a, in, a, in a professional setting. But, you know, everybody's different. Some people may may think otherwise. And then there's some that are just saying no, just for the simple fact that they come from Harbor Freight. You know, they just have a thing where they feel like everything that comes out of Harbor Freight is just garbage. But um, there's a few of those people who say that now, but if you go back and look at their earlier videos, believe it or not, most of their tools are from Harbor Freight. And I just find that funny that now all of a sudden that, you know, they, they got a little bit more fame or, um, upgrade it now they talk down on harbor freight but like like i said for the diy guys um trust me these are good enough man so um here you have these they have this offset right here and i was going to compare them to the uh double box uh the other icon set that i have which is here i'll show this one this one is the 13 and 15 millimeter and this one is the closest to this size so i wanted to just compare it to, to that one even though it's still just a little bit longer but as far as the um the thickness you can see right away that well you can't see right away through this but the the um the flex head ones are it's a lot thinner and also a lot slimmer you can you can tell right away right there so these ones, right, because, you know, the flexes are not made to break stuff loose, and these are. So, you know, you break whatever you need to break loose with this side, and then you just flip it over and use the ratcheting side. 
to run it to run the boat out you know they're not reversible so if you have to then you got to just flip it over but yeah they're not reversible like these on these ones you just push the button right here on the side and it, they'll be reversible but anyhow besides that you know um the finish on them is is nice and shiny you know of course like any brand new tool you know they just look beautiful but you know you got to put them to to work and then you know they start getting scratches and whatnot but that's what they're made for so i don't really have any other ones to compare it to besides this one which is not a i guess a fair comparison for the simple fact that they, these are you know the flex head and ratcheting on both sides but I wanted to, to quiz you guys and see um on these two craftsmen right here they're both 15 millimeter right can you guys um tell any difference besides that um i know that you guys are going to probably say that that the top one is a six point and the bottom is a 12 point but can you guys tell which one is the usa made and which one is not All right, let's take a look at the back. There it is. See, so the bottom one is a USA made and the top one is not. I just, I was just wondering if you people could tell like just by looking at it or if um, you had to read it or, you know, I mean, maybe you guys could tell by feeling it, but I, I really can't. Well, you know, I'm not a professional. But I was just wondering if you guys could tell just by looking at it from the front, which one the, was the USA made. But anyhow, back to these icons. I think that these are these are good enough for any DIYer that's interested in getting these. I think this is this will be a good choice for you guys. You know, it, it'll get the job done. They're heavy duty. You know, you can't bend them unless you really, you know, if you try, I'm sure you can. Probably snap them or whatever. But I'm saying if you just use them the way you're supposed to, I think they'll they'll get the job done for you. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show them to you guys and um, and so you guys could get a view of them and make that choice if you guys are interested in getting a, a pair for yourself. But here it is. Look, this is the smallest one and the biggest one. So that's what it is. And then also the little offset. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but compared to that one, it's a lot bigger. But like I said, you know, these ones are meant to break out the bolts loose and these are not. So, you know, make sure that if you guys, um, you know, um, don't know much about the ratcheting wrenches, you know, because a lot of the guys watching this channel are, you know, just regular homeowners that don't know a lot about tools. These ones that got the ratcheting mechanism are not made to break bolts loose you know they're just made to run them out so you need a regular um box end like this side or even an open end like this but something like this to run to break it loose and then once you break it loose then you can use the ratchet inside and run it out all right so that's all i got for you guys today keep on doing what you do don't let nobody say you can't do anything stay safe and i'll see you guys on the next go around bye and with that being said people if you like talking about tools, go ahead and subscribe to the channel.